Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So you've seen the title of the video. Today I'm gonna to talk about the things that are ticking me off in Nigeria. Okay, in no particular order, it's just whatever's coming from the top of my head. Okay, number one is the dishonesty. Oh my God, I really feel like, I've been coming to Nigeria for over 20 years now, and I really feel like this particular economic climate that we're in, with the war in Ukraine and food shortages and stuff, has really, really, really turned up the heat here in Nigeria. And I'm telling you, every next person that you talk to is trying to rip you off in one way or another. Now, that's always been a problem in Nigeria, but it is totally, totally increased. It's so intense. It's unbelievable. It's literally unbearable. It's like every single person around you, one way or another, is trying to find a way to dupe you out of your naira and that is just getting me down it's really getting me down so that's the first thing that annoys me the second thing that really irritates me about Nigeria is the lack of accountability people say things make promises which they have no intention of keeping they say things flippantly and if you follow people's advice you're gonna end up in a hot pot of soup and when things go wrong all they offer is sorry and yeah, so I think when you spend a long period of time in Nigeria, that's something that you've got to really figure out. You've got to figure out who you can trust with what and when. And generally, I take a blanket policy of ignoring the everything that everyone says and trying to find out information myself. And um, that usually works for me. The third thing that is actually ticking me off, and I've seen it more in a choir bone than I have anywhere else, uh, I've never actually really experienced it to this degree in Lagos, but it is the begging. Yes, it's the begging. Now, when I'm talking about begging, I'm not talking about family members. I'm talking about people that know your family or people that you don't know. Every opportunity that somebody has to be one-on-one -on -one with you, they're going to beg you for something. And I found in a quiet bone, when people beg and you don't give, they get downright aggressive. And I found that 99% of the time, it's actually men that are doing this. The begging, the bringing all their list of problems. I need to eat, my daughter has to pay her school fees, all these things, and putting them on you. I actually even had an experience whereby somebody followed me down the road and waited outside my house. And when we came out, he gave me this long list of his problems and expected me to kind of like shell out. And I really feel like things are tough in Nigeria. People are coping. It's about tightening the belt. People are struggling. But I really don't think it's got to the stage where people need to come and accost people in the street and like demand. And this is the thing, it's the demanding, demanding they should have which leads me on to, I think this is the fourth thing, entitlement. Wow, Nigerians have an entitlement mentality. They feel like if you are doing well, and I'm not talking about all Nigerians, but I'm talking about a sizable portion. If you're doing well, then they feel entitled to a portion of what they have not worked for. Many of these people with the entitlement mentality are people that if you gave them a job, they wouldn't even turn up. They feel like if they are so ha somehow linked to someone that's doing well, linked to someone that's abroad, they are entitled by right of birth to a portion of what you've got and you must give them and expect nothing else in return. Obviously, the real world doesn't work that way. And you really feel the kind of coldness coming off of them if you don't just pay up. It's almost as if they feel like in the Western world, um, basically money grows on trees and every morning I wake up in the morning and go and pluck from my money tree in England and I'm just not sending it to them. So that really, really ticks me off. And yet again, it's coming from the males. It seems to be this male thing whereby they feel entitled. They feel entitled to this, they feel entitled to that. And the thing is, many times, things that these very entitled people are asking me for are not basic needs. iPhone, handset, tablets, this, that. And things that are definitely not you know, necessities, they're definitely not things that you need for your day-to-day -day life. And um, yeah, that really, really, really bothers me. And just, I guess, one of the things is the way that things don't work. And when you look into it, it's just down to people's laziness. I know that we live in a system where 
here in Nigeria where NEPA, the electricity system, is completely unreliable. The government is very unreliable. But I'm talking about the unreliability of people in their interpersonal interactions when they just don't bother, they don't want to work hard, they don't want to pull their finger out, and they want to just blame the government situation. The very last thing I'm going to talk about, I don't want this video to be big, uh, to be long. Um, the thing, one thing that really irritates me is the low standards that people accept. People accept really, really, really low standards here. People will charge you, charge someone full price for something, only deliver 50%, but they still expect you to pay the full amount for it. And when you're on the receiving end of that and you're trying to demand your 100% of whatever you paid for, people kind of get irritated with you and think that you're too picky and too demanding when you're demanding to receive exactly what you paid for. And that, I think that's the thing that irritates me the most of everything. That no matter, even if you're going to a five-star hotel, you're never ever going to get the full service. Something is going to go wrong one way or another. You're still expected to pay the full fee, but you're supposed to manage with whatever irritation they have, someone's incompetence, whatever, okay. So that is enough for this video. This video was just to tell you about some of the things that are ticking me off in Nigeria. Overall, I'm having a fantastic time in Nigeria, and one of the next video is gonna be some of the things that I really love and enjoy about being in Nigeria. So guys, have a wonderful day, have a wonderful week, and I'll see you soon, bye.